In this section, I'm going to show you how to go about tracking a one pot wonder or something that you will be meal prepping for a few days throughout the week. For me, I like to make something like a chicken curry or chili that is going to last me a few days. So I will have chili for dinner a couple of times a week. To do this using the app, we are going to go to the menu button at the bottom right hand side. So I'm going to click on menu. And we're going to scroll down until we see recipes, meals and foods. So we're going to click there. At the bottom, we can see create a recipe. We will click here and we're going to enter the ingredients manually. So the recipe name, let's say I'm making chicken curry. Chicken curry. And then for the servings, that is completely up to you as to how many portions you're going to have through the week, whether it's going to be three dinners, five dinners. So for this example, I'm just going to choose five. At the top right hand side, we click on the next button. And this is where we start to add our ingredients. Now, I don't have all the ingredients in front of me. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for those in the, the bar at the top. So we search for chicken breast as the. And again, correlating this back to the back of the packaging, the nutritional advice on the package, you want to pick the most appropriate option. So the packet comes in, let's say 500 grams. We're going to make sure that we log all 500 grams and save that and click the top right hand side where the tick is. We are then going to the top right to the add button where we can add more ingredients. I'm going to add in onion. We click on 100 grams, let's say we have 150 grams, so I change that serving to 1.5. Whatever amount that you are having, you just change the serving size to what's appropriate. And click on save and click the tick at the top right hand side again. Now we will go through this process for every ingredient that we use. We add any vegetables, any sauces, any oils that we're going to be using to fry the food or fry the chicken. And once we've finished inputting all of those calories and all of those ingredients, at the bottom we have a button that says next. So we're going to click on the next button. And here we can see the total amount of calories, carbs, fats and proteins per serving. So this is five servings, 169 calories, three carbs, two fats, 34 grams of protein. And once we're happy with that, we are going to click the button at the bottom that says save. That recipe will then be saved and we can add it to our diary. So if we are having that for dinner tonight, I will click add to diary and change the meal to dinner and click on the tick at the top right hand side to save that. If I'm having this meal again tomorrow for dinner and the day after that, again at the top where it says today, we have an arrow on the right hand side. We will click across to tomorrow, click on dinner and go to add food. And along the top, we can see my meals and my recipes. We're going to click on my recipes and that chicken curry that we just input into my fitness pal will be there at the top. We click on the add button and it will be logged into the dinner for tomorrow. And the same process goes for the day after that. My recipes, chicken curry. And that is how you go about saving a recipe and portioning out a meal prep for the week.